Hello, I'm Alicia, aka Rhapsody. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back. Uh, Halloween is coming up, and uh, it's my favorite time of year. So I wanted to share with you the Halloween releases that will be releasing August 25th um, from Apocalyptic Beauty. These products will be available um, through October 31st, and they'll be available both individually and um, bundled in sets. First up, there are four eyeshadows in the Halloween collection. I wanted to do colors that um, that said Halloween to me. So, so I created a duochrome collection with orange, green, purple, and um, black. So let me show you this collection. The first shade is Pumpkin King. This is the orange. It is a soft orange with a with a green shift. This would make a pretty lid shade or for the inner corner. The green shade I call Dead Girl, uh, named for the movie of the same name. This is a green with an orange shift. like that. Hopefully the camera will pick up the duochrome. And this shade is also on my eyelid today. This is Season of the Witch. This is the purple, obviously. It's purple with a blue to green shift and a lot of sparkle to it. Very ethereal. And the final shadow releasing for Halloween is this is called Gigi. It's named for uh, Kiki's Cat and Kiki's Delivery Service. It is black with a very strong purple shift. Terrible swatch. So those are the four eyeshadows um, that we'll be releasing um, tomorrow uh, as of my filming right now. Um, I have lately I've been experimenting with doing a number of uh, of custom glitter blends in the Apocalyptic Beauty Shop, and I did come up with four glitter blends uh, for specifically for Halloween. I think these are really fun. First up, Toil and Trouble, which this is just, this is my personal um, jar, which is almost empty. Of course, you get a full jar when you purchase it. This is a purple, green, and black um, kind of bubbling cauldron of chunky glitter goodness. I'll insert um, a picture because it's not easy to swatch these here. This is All Hallows Eve. It's an orange and black um, glitter blend with loads of black, orange, and holographic bats. And for this one, I will insert a picture. And also, I did do a, a look using a little bit of um, the bat glitter in it. And I'll include that as well. This one is uh, called It's Alive. It's a Frankenstein-inspired glitter blend. And it's green, black, and white chunky glitters with uh, white and black lightning bolts. Again, picture insertion here somewhere. And finally, the last of the glitter blends that we'll be releasing is Blood Moon. This one is a red and black uh, mix of chunky glitter moons and stars. Um, I'll insert a picture and also it's not a good example because my, um, my hands are kind of 
messed up from doing swatches, but this is, um, and I'm terrible at nail polish and nail art, but this is Blood Moon over white polish. All right, in addition to those, I, there will be some new liquid highlighters and some new nail polishes. Real quickly, the new nail polishes um, in my Ghoul Chic line are Grave Rot and Exposed Bone. They join Creeping Flesh to round out the line. Uh, Creeping Flesh is a flesh-colored um, nail polish because uh, I had someone request a flesh-colored nail polish. It gives the illusion of making your fingers uh, look a bit longer. And joining that exposed bone, which is a bone white nail polish, I found that I was always needing white nail polish um, and never had any, so I created my own. And um, this is really useful for doing things like nail art. Um, if you have top coat nail polishes, uh, it, many of those look good over white polish. And Grave Rot is a true gray. I just found, <clears throat> for this one, I just found that I was always wanting a gray polish and never seemed to be able to find one. So this is Grave Rot here. Again, my application leaves something to be desired. But Finally, the liquid highlighters that we'll be releasing for Halloween. Two of these were previously released as, as gifts with purchase. This one was previously released as Eternal Fire. Um, it's renamed Hellfire. It's basically a kind of a pumpkin, a fiery pumpkin spice. This one's well suited for medium um, to meet to tan um, complexions. And then there's Brimstone. This was originally released as Nuke as a gift with purchase for, I think, a holiday weekend. A red highlight, kind of a sinister red. And finally, brand new for the season. I'm really excited about this one. This one is Ectoplasm. This is kind of a ghostly blue. Now I do have another blue in the um, in the permanent line, but I'm going to show you the difference because this is quite different. This is the permanent shade Eerie Indigo. You can see it's kind of a purple based. Um, liquid high, a purple based blue, and then ectoplasm, put it right next to it, is more of a green, it's a green based blue. So those are the Halloween releases coming up. I uh, thank you so much for watching, and happy Halloween. Have a great day. Bye-bye.